Hi there, and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our library. Short video, about 10 minutes, with a quick intro to the indicator concept, the most important functions, and how you can use it in a trading setup, along, of course, with a download link to the indicator itself. And this time, we're looking at the Stochastic Momentum Index, also known as the SMI indicator by William Blau. The general idea behind stochastic studies is to use momentum falloffs to predict price reversals. And to paraphrase George Lane, the developer of the original stochastic study, you can compare the phenomenon to a rocket going up in the air before it can return back to Earth. Of course, it has to slow down. So in other words, momentum usually change direction before price. As for Blau's Stochastic Momentum Index, it incorporates the bar close as a part of the calculation. Briefly, it locates the distance between the close and the midpoint of the most recent price change and normalize that over the range of the price data. And that again improves accuracy with uh, respect to identifying the overbought and oversold areas. So that takes uh, care of uh, many of the false swing setups uh, that we see here. So both uh, the standard stochastics and the SMI indicator move within a predefined range, but uh, there are different scales applied here. The standard stochastic will plot between zero and 100. Uh, it's difficult to see that here, but that's the way it's set up, whereas the Stochastic Momentum Index will move between 100 and negative 100. And um, you'll see that also the conventional stochastic uh, oscillator will use the 80-20 thresholds to locate overbought and oversold scenarios, whereas the SMI identifies potential momentum turning points when the minus 50 and 50 levels are crossed. So the idea is if the uh, SMI has been moving below the 50 level, as we see here, and then cross above that threshold, you can it, interpret that as a buy opportunity. And if it's been above the 50 level and then crossing below the threshold here, that would be a bearish opportunity. So in the uh, following, we'll uh, look at how to improve the reliability of the stochastic momentum index even further aligning it with the mid to higher time frame trend filter, namely the high low activator. And um, That was uh, introduced by uh, Robert Krauts as a tool for swing traders in uh, 1998. The initial version described a approach for creating a simple moving average of the previous daily highs and lows. And later that concept was adapted for intraday trading. So it can uh, be characterized as a stop and reverse indicator changing direction once the stop line is breached. And uh, you can therefore use it as a trend filter and or a trailing stop. So during trends, a, uh, a change or exit signal will trigger once the bar close uh, below the low average for a uptrend. So that would be the, the stop line. And uh, in a bearish uh, trend, you would have a breach of the upper uh, average and um, trigger a trend change or a uh, exit at that point. So there are two options here for determining a uh, trend change. So that would be uh, that the bar close below the trailing stop. 
So that is the default setting here. The trend change or the new uh, stop line will plot after the bar closes. And uh, the other option is uh, the first tick, uh, breaking the uh, trailing stop level, intra bar reversal. And uh, that is sort of a, a visual tool for you to see that uh, a trend change will plot immediately and uh, the two uh, trailing stops will be visible then uh, simultaneously. However, a significant drawback with the high-low indicator is that the distance at uh, which uh, it trails the medium moving average is uh, too tight or too small and you cannot uh, adjust it. So uh, we suggest using or recreating the high-low activator with the Supertrend U11 and uh, you can then increase the value for the offset multiplier to avoid the whipsaws. And to do that, you simply uh, first choose median as uh, the input series in the data series box. And then via the indicator dialog box, you can set up the SMA as um, your input value for both the baseline and the offset smoothing and the range as the offset uh, formula. So if you want to compare, you can just use uh, the original high-low actuary defaults. So baseline would be uh, 50 and the offset period as well. And then the uh, offset multiplier is set to 0 0.5. And from there on, you can change uh, the offset multiplier to a higher number, for example, 2.5 to get rid of uh, all the whipsaws. So the Supertrend uh, U11 now plots uh, the high-low activator trend bias uh, with the uh, paint bars here, blue for bullish and uh, red for bearish. And um, we see the stop line here as well. And so if the uh, high-low activator is bullish, you can take uh, the uh, stochastic momentum index turning points when crossing above the uh, negative 50 level here, that would be bullish setup. And um, I think in a follow up presentation to this, we'll uh, review some initial test results for using this approach. And uh, perhaps we'll also compare using uh, the swing trend indicator from our premium suite for an even more flexible trend definition and uh, look at how we can filter these uh, momentum turning points. So with that, uh, I'll wrap up uh, this indicator spotlight and show you where to pick up your free download for the uh, Stochastic Momentum Index. It will be in the Momentum Oscillator category and um, you can find other tools from uh, William Blau, the double smooth momentum, as well as the double smooth stochastic. And there's also the awesome oscillator, the no sure thing, as well as the balance, balance momentum indicators, just to name a few in this category. In total, we have uh, about 145 indicators here for a one-time membership registration uh, fee of uh, 195 bucks. So that's for all of them, uh, not each indicator. All right, so uh, if you like the indicator spotlight and you want to see more of these, make sure to subscribe to the channel here. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. If nothing else, just to let me know that you're out there and that you like to receive more of these uh, newsletters. All right, so uh, that's it for our spotlight on the uh, Stochastic Momentum Index. Appreciate you taking the time and tuning in and stay tuned for our follow-up uh, probably next month here going into Easter holiday. So SMI crossovers, aligning them with the high-low trend bias and um, do that with Bloodhound from Shark Indicators, perhaps also showing a few features from our premium swing trend indicator. 
All right. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great rest of the weekend, and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care, and bye-bye.